Bernard, once again, Justice Chagli here. Me, I'm ready for a one-on-one -on -one debate with Richard, Richard, the last guy on this matter. Shit! Charlie Bernard, people are suffering, you know. Ah, now, you don't you look at their stories. People are traveling from here to Europe. That's to Italy. They are using, they are going by road, passing through Cote d'Ivoire, uh, sorry, passing through Togo, going through Benin, going through Niger. The Sahara Desert, Ag Aga Deso said, whatever, they will pass through and go through, go, go to Libya. The things that they go through, they will be put at the back of a pickup. The documentaries are there and how they arrange them in the pickup with, uh, with locks tied to their, Charlie, they will pass through. You are losing your life when you fall down, you are falling down, they are leaving. You. People are extorting money from them. Libya, no man's land. They work, they don't pay them. They can shoot you, they can kill you. And they will they will sit on the boat when they get to Libya to pass through that that long distance to Italy. If they are lucky and they get rescue team from Italy, then they are okay. But if the Libyan people come to rescue them, they take all their money, put them in prison, beating people are being beaten to call home to bring money. That is Europe. Those who are using Brazil to go to USA, they will go through Brazil. They will go through. Uh... I drove from Accra to Tamale for an outreach. On my last count, over 80 of the 141 of my colleagues who finished medical school over 10 years ago have left the country. Yes. Guys, 80. Use a calculator. Do something for me. Do 80 over 141 times 100. I want to see the percentage while we do the discussion. Most left on account of hardships they face in GH, even with the supposedly good salary doctors receive. Countries they move to USA, Canada. Oh, you belong to a political party. So, what of those of us who are not in any political party? So it, 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 it is very, very, very sad for some of us. Imagine me, we are six in the family. Our parents gave birth to six, but now none of us has a proper education. We force, 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 but none of us. Alaska is not easy. It's not easy to be in Ghana. God bless us all. Well, I'm listening to the discussion, and it's a good question that Bernard is asking. And I think it's a manner of speaking. In Tigana, because first of all, you ask yourself, what is the means of um, citizens getting involved in politics? I know that you guys have talked about, you know, the district. Um, assemblies and us middle class people running for those offices. But with the way the structure is now, even those places have become politicized. So, I mean, it's easier for an American washed out rapper to meet my president than it is for me, an ordinary Ghanaian, to do so. Right? How do you, if you have ideas, how do you let the political um, class know that okay, you know, it would be great if um, for example, people who work on your passport, you know the person is working on it and they can be surcharged if they delay more than 12 days, if that's the standard time or how, how, how do the citizens get involved, right? And then on the economic front, I mean even those people who are earning, let's say I don't know, thousand dollars a month I'm not finding it easy because, like, the inflation is so bad, the cost of living is so high, there's no middle, right? So I often complain that there's not much you can do, for example, in Accra without spending money, especially if you have a child, right? The, the, we seem to be doing well, but the quality of life is really um, reducing, right? And every day you hear of new scandals, right? So... Even children's park or parks and gardens is being sold to a private developer. So the things that the ordinary person will enjoy, things that are easily accessible, no longer are. So it's like if you don't have money in Ghana, you're going to have a very terrible quality of life. 
But if you have money, you're good. But even then, like the roads are bad, there's no water, there's no electricity, nothing is working. So it's understandable if somebody wants to leave the country. My, my two cents. Wow. So many more comments coming up on the issue.